What's up everyone, John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and I want to give you guys a first look at some of the new features found on Android 4.4 KitKat and talk about some kind of cool nuances found on the Nexus 5. Let's go ahead and get started. So there are a ton of new features crammed into Android 4.4 KitKat. We'll talk about some of the highlights and there are also some really cool subtle things about the Nexus 5. We ran through all the specs, the Snapdragon 800 and the rest of that. Uh, but some things you might not notice, the buttons on the side are all ceramic, so they'll be really durable if the phone lands on its side. They also have kind of a nice feel to it. Wireless charging is built in. It's the chief standard, no need for a replaceable backplate. I'm looking at you, Samsung. I'm looking at you, Nokia. So that's kind of nice there. So there are a lot of great features in KitKat. Let's start with one of my favorite, and that is Google Now. You can now talk to it like you could on the Moto X, although unlike the Moto X, it's not going to learn your voice. Pretty much anybody could walk up to your phone when it's on and say, okay, Google, search Techno Buffalo. And then you get your full Google Now search. Anything you want to do on Google Now uh, is still here. A couple people have asked if it'll work when the screen is off. It will not, and I'll show you. Okay, Google Now. Nothing. Black screen. It also won't work from the lock screen. Okay, Google Now. Although from the lock screen, you can swipe up and you can access Google Now directly there. Uh, but a kind of neat feature that you can talk to it now. I wish it had the same sort of technology the Moto X had. I wish it had the notifications the Moto X had when the screen is off. Um, but it does have improved Google Now, and that is always good. So visually, though, things have improved as well. You've got a new cleaned up menu bar. You don't have that line across the top. Uh, it sort of just sits there floating uh, and looks really nice, in my opinion, uh, right down below. So you can see that. You also have a new animation going to the app drawer. It's kind of subtle, but it is definitely there. You also have a translucent now uh, app drawer. You can see the home screen sort of showing up behind it. Kind of neat. Uh, the Nexus 5 also has HDR Plus on the camera side. So if you want to take crazy HDR pictures, it'll take a few uh, images and stitch them all together and give you one kind of awesome image. Uh, that's here as well. It lives right there. HDR Plus on or HDR Plus off. Also, just kind of neat on my thing while playing around. The zoom is um, has been tweaked. So if you zoom in, it tells you how far or what percentage zoom you're using. So or three times, four times, five times, whatever it is. Uh, we'll show you right there. It's kind of a kind of a neat visual cue uh, that I found. Uh, going back to the home screen, you also have a new settings icon. It's bigger, a little more cartoonish, uh, but it kind of looks the same. Uh, you can now move home screens, which is kind of neat as well. You can have you know whatever home screens you want, but if you hold it down, you can not only move them left or right, but you now get this new screen. Go into wallpapers, widgets, or jump right into settings. Uh, so that was kind of improved as well. Uh, you've got some other things here, smart dialer to prioritize contacts based on who you call or search the most. Uh, also, you can search for restaurants and stuff right from the dialer. Uh, caller ID here is improved as well. Uh, if it doesn't recognize a number, it'll search uh, Google to try and find what that is and it'll show you when it calls. Uh, Hangouts is now integrated with SMS, which you might like, you might not like. For me, I don't enjoy that. One of the nice things about Android is you can download any third-party SMS app and set it as default uh, if you don't want to use Hangouts. Uh, emoji are built into the keyboard as well, and you've got some improved um, settings and ability for wireless printing, uh, which now has its own little setting here uh, in the settings window. So you can see cloud print or send right to uh, HP uh, services. So that's kind of neat and new. There are a lot of other tweaks here on Android 4.4 KitKat. Just some of the big ones. I would have liked to have seen some other things like a default way to show the battery percentage would have been nice. Uh, obviously, you can do that with Cyanogen. There are apps and widgets you can do that will show it. But I would have liked that to have been uh, built in. First impressions though have been really positive. Nexus 5, it feels great. Android's really, really quick as you'd expect from a Snapdragon 800 with no skin on it. Uh, it's a blazing fast phone. Haven't quite yet tested the camera, but first impressions it looks to be very good. Certainly an improvement uh, over the Moto X, for example. And it looks to certainly be an improvement over the Nexus 4 as well. We'll put all that stuff um, through the paces and we'll do cover it when we do our full review. But anything you guys want to see, uh, be sure to let me know and leave in the comments down below. Till next time, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo. This has been a first look at the Google Nexus 5 and a quick tour of Android KitKat. What's up everyone? It's Ashley. Thanks so much for watching that most recent video. If you enjoyed it, please click on the word subscribe right underneath me to get tons of more tech videos from us here at Techno Buffalo. We have got unboxings, comparisons, reviews, recaps, and everything else you can think of here on the channel. If you're in the mood for more technology, just click right over here to check out some of our most recent videos. See you next time, humans.